Hey guys, welcome back. So today I've got a comparison test I've been working on for the past three years. And it's going to be between this Walmart battery I bought in February 2018 for my 04 Crown Vic and this Costco battery I bought nine months later in November 2018 for my 2010 Mercury Grand Marquis. And shortly after I bought this Costco battery, I made a video comparing these two. Uh, but because I hadn't had them very long, the only thing I could compare was the price and how each retailer handles their warranty claims. But I got a lot of good feedback on that video in the comments section, so I'll put a link to that video down below. So today, as it stands, this Walmart battery is two weeks shy of being four years old, and this Costco battery is three years and three months. So I've got uh, a good amount of age and wear on them uh, to do a comparison test to find out which one is better. So before we get into the uh, testing, uh, by the way, we're going to use a, uh, a load tester, an old school traditional load tester from Harbor Freight. And I've even got a high tech electronic digital tester um, to see how that works as well. So before we get into the testing, I want to tell you uh, what kind of lives these two batteries have led up to this point, and that may give you a better idea on what kind of results uh, we're going to get. So real quick, uh, this is the Walmart battery I bought. I bought it on uh, February 2nd, 2018, and I paid uh, $93.76 before taxes and fees. And this is the Walmart battery, or no, this is the Costco battery. I bought this uh, November 12th, 2018, the Interstate, and I paid uh, $94.99, so uh, about the same price. They're both 95 bucks. And let me give you a better shot of them. So you can see the uh, the Walmart battery has a sticker on there, and it says it's made by uh, or it's distributed by the Johnson Control Company from uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And this Interstate battery just says it's distributed by Costco, and there's a sticker on here that says made in Mexico. And uh, they're both identical batteries. They're both uh, group size 65, and they both have 850 cold cranking amps. So, um, uh, going back to how these batteries have spent the last four years and three years and three months, is uh, every six months I take the batteries out of both my cars and I bring them in here and I clean the terminals, I check the water, I uh, check the external uh, case for any damage. Sometimes something will come loose and wear a hole in it. And I just like to uh, make sure everything's uh, okay. And then uh, suck the leaves out of the bottom of the battery tray. And um, I realized because I had both batteries out of the car at the same time, well, why don't I just rotate the batteries from car to car? And the reason why I did that is because both of my cars lead two uh, completely different lives. Uh, my Crown Vic, it basically sits and gets driven once a week uh, around the block to a normal operating temperature. And my Grand Marquis is the daily driver and it gets driven pretty much every single day. So those are two completely different um, uh, usage scenarios. So uh, for every six months, when I do my oil changes and my preventative maintenances, when I have the batteries out, I switch the batteries from car to car. So that, and I did that uh, in preparation for this test so that uh, both batteries have been somewhat equally used and uh, in equal, have equal wear and age on them. And, um, 
and uh, once a week I uh, charge them up with these battery chargers I use and the reason why I use these is because they have a built-in desulfation mode that lasts about 12 hours to, pre to prevent uh, sulfation from building up on the plates in there so I've I've been uh, maintaining these batteries by checking the water uh, keeping the terminals clean and then I put them on a battery charger at least once a week to uh, just give them every chance they've got at living a uh, healthy life and lasting uh, past their uh, warranty periods so uh, and I also wanted to remove as many variables as uh, possible for this test tonight so uh, it's winter time right now and it's 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 very uh, it's a little balmy in my garage it's um, 60 uh, it's 57 degrees and 64 percent humidity and so I didn't want to uh, leave one of these batteries uh, outside so I brought in uh, the Costco battery last night so both of these batteries have been acclimating uh, to temperature in here for the past 24 hours so this Walmart battery is reading uh, 61 degrees and this Costco battery is uh, 62 degrees so they're both have they both have the same temperature which can affect uh, testing results <clears throat> So, uh, and then I also, uh, I, I charged up, uh, both, both of these batteries are hot off the charger. I, I charged them up for a full 12 hours through that desulfation mode. But again, uh, these are not, or these are um, fully automatic microprocessor controlled uh, battery chargers. So they don't give the whole 15 volts and just maintain that. What they do is they start at around uh, 3 amps and then they slowly taper off to about uh, 1 amp over a 12 hour period. So uh, they've been resting here for about an hour after I've taken them off the charger. Okay, uh, so let's get into the uh, testing here. And so the first test we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, electronic digital high tech uh, battery tester. And this is neat because it gives you a digital readout of the cold cranking amps and um, it'll even tell you the internal resistance. So let's do the uh, Walmart battery first. Okay, let's go battery test. And we're going to be out of the vehicle. And these are regular flooded uh, batteries. And CCA is 850. So here we go. This is the Walmart. Okay, it looks like we've got uh, 729 cranking amps. And the internal resistance is 4 mega ohm. So, uh, it was supposed to have 850, so it looks like we're down about 121 cranking amps over four years. So I'm pretty happy with that. So now let's do the Costco battery. And battery test. Again, we're out of the vehicle regular flooded cold cranking amp is 850 here we go okay so the Costco is at just a little bit higher at 775 cranking amps and the internal resistance is a little bit better at 3.76 so uh, I'm gonna say that's pretty much the same uh, based on this device um, uh, based on the margin of error of this device after after I've used it for so long uh, I, I can do this test about 10 more times and I'll get different readings every time but they'll be pretty much close so I'm gonna say uh, based on this tester they're almost basically the same okay so now let's see what kind of damage we can do with this big swinging dick 
So uh, this here is a load tester and this is very, uh, very more powerful. This is a, a much bigger load. This is uh, supposed to give it a, um, this is supposed to simulate a 100 amp load. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to try to get in here real tight. So right now, uh, this needle, it says we're at, I don't know, 12.6 or 12.8. And I'm going to, I'm going to uh, pull this trigger here for five seconds. And we're going to watch this needle uh, fall back down. All right, here we go. Hope we get this on camera good. Okay, much better. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay, so it looks like it's hanging around uh, 800 crank and amps uh, after holding this thing for five seconds. So I'm very uh, pleased with that. Uh, that means we're only down 50 amps on a four-year-old battery. Now, uh, let me uh, cool. Let me cool off this uh, tester real quick, just for a few seconds before I reconnect it. All right, now let's test this uh, Costco battery. Okay, it looks like that needle is reading almost the same exact thing. Uh, 12.6 or 12.8 volts. All right, here we go. I'm going to pull this trigger for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And you know what? It looks like it's the same exact thing. Uh, it's hanging right at around 800 uh, cranking amps. So uh, what can I say? Uh, which battery which battery is better and which one should you buy? Well, I think uh, based on uh, price, if, if the price was the same, uh, it's a toss up. And if the warrant, now here's where it comes into play is the warranty. Uh, this Walmart battery has a three year free replacement and then the last two years is prorated. So you get like a cash refund towards the purchase of a new battery. And this uh, Costco battery, it only has a free replacement period. And this battery is three and a half years uh, warranty. And after three and a half years, you get nothing. So no, no cash back towards a new battery. Now, um, uh, I looked up the current price uh, for these batteries. And right now, the current price for the one from Walmart is, has gone up to $130. So the price has increased uh, $36 more for the Walmart battery. And this uh, Costco battery has gone up to $100. So it had a price increase of $5. So if you were to buy these today, uh, the Walmart is going to cost you $130 before taxes and fees. And this Costco is going to cost you $100 bucks before taxes and fees. And one other thing to note is that Costco has reduced the warranty period from 42 month to 36 months. So I, they took off half a year. So you only get a three year uh, warranty. And uh, real quick, I want to mention about, again, about all that feedback I got on the first video. And uh, I got more than a few comments from folks that said uh, they had a less than enchanting experience when they tried to go to Walmart to return a battery in warranty. They said uh, dealing with the folks at the customer service counter or even in the auto center can be a bit challenging. And on the other hand, uh, folks reported that when they go to Costco to return a battery, it's basically uh, no questions asked, here's your money back, have a nice day. You know, as simple as that. So, um, uh, what what have I learned from these two batteries over the past three years? Well, I'm going to say uh, it looks like the materials and construction and quality of the battery 
is almost identical based on the tests that I've performed and what I've, uh, how I've been treating these batteries over the past three years. And where I really think the only thing that matters most is the price and uh, what kind of warranty uh, service you're going to get if you have a problem with these things. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.